last week I was in the process of demolishing a 2,000 square foot shop for a probate administrator. The reason why we were tearing down this shop is because it was built without benefit of a building permit and there was a code enforcement action against the property. The probate administrator had hopes of selling the property in short period of time. So the options for me were to either cure the defect of not having a permit, which I could have done, or to take the shop down. The probate administrator elected to go for the second option and have me take the shop down. So I had a demolition crew there last week to do the job. Demolition work requires pouring water on the building as it comes down to keep the dust and the debris to minimum and to avoid the potential for fire. This was a rural property with well water and a pump connected to a hose. Sure enough, as soon as they started demolishing the shop, the pump on the well burned out. No pump, no water, with no water, no demolition. There just wasn't any choice. We had to buy a new pump right away. Suddenly, the budget I had to do the demolition went up by 25%. I wasn't expecting that, and this estate doesn't have any excess cash. So I made an emergency cash loan to the estate to the tune of $2,500. That's an example of emergency funds. The distinction of whether emergency funds will be loaned to an estate depend on whether they will be used for strictly a business purpose or for personal purposes. If it were for personal purposes, the underwriting criteria would be much more restrictive. The easier solution is for business purposes. If you need an emergency loan for business purposes, you are going to be able to achieve the financing objective much more easily. To find out more about emergency loans needed for the business of an estate, call me directly. I'm Dan Collins from Integrity Estate Lending.